Don't do it, kid. I never had a choice. This isn't exactly the type of thing I like to go around telling everybody, but I'm a bit of a hobby CNC enthusiast. I know it's a weird hobby, I understand that. But I've converted a lot of things to CNC, and whenever I have something that I could potentially convert to CNC, I'm usually going to do that. In fact, basically every time. Uh, I've done a CNC Etch-a-Sketch. I did a CNC drill press. If you think this lathe is sketchy, you gotta watch that drill press video because that thing was real sketchy. Still a fun project though. And I've built two CNC machines. Again, I have videos on that if you're interested in the topic. But knowing my background, and anybody who's ever actually watched my channel, you guys automatically know, as soon as I bought this lathe, which was kind of a surprise, I actually had a different video planned for you guys. As soon as I bought this lathe and ran it, I did not have a choice. My brain clicked in, and I knew I had to put stepper motors on it. Now, on my channel, I never have a shortage of hater trolls, so I'm sure on this video I'm going to get a lot of guys who say, oh, this guy doesn't know how to machine anything. And in this particular instance, those trolls are what you might call machinists, because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I literally started doing this CNC conversion on day two of owning this machine, and this is the first time I've ever run one, so any constructive feedback you guys have, send it my way. So any project where I'm modifying anything to be CNC, especially something valuable like this, I wanna make sure it's removable so I can take everything back off and it's just a normal lathe again. So these are just clamping on here for the bracket for the motor. And then I use the lathe to turn down this coupler that goes from the motor to an Allen wrench that goes into the Allen screw inside this handle. And I know it's a little bit hokey, but I worked all the backlash out or most of the backlash out. And this actually runs really well. I have it set really slow because this is actually in cut mode, but it works great. So it was difficult for me to find a good way to couple to this particular handle. The other one was pretty easy, but this one is a little bit more of a challenge. So using my lathe, I just turned down a motor coupler and the way this should work is it just slips right over the webs in that handle and the spinning motor should spin that handle. And if it works, you should see the result of that right about now. So that didn't work. With the Y axis, there's actually a lot of reduction that's happening in this drive. So this motor is plenty powerful to do that. This one, you get a lot more distance per revolution. And this stepper motor, stepper motor's just not powerful enough to do it. I don't think there's anything wrong with the drive itself. It's the actual torque coming out of here. So we gotta rework it. Which is actually really convenient because I didn't feel like sleeping tonight anyway. So this setup ended up being more complicated than I originally wanted it to be. Did not have much of a choice, especially since I was in a time crunch. So we have a small pulley up here on the motor shaft. We have a larger one down here with a tensioner in the middle. And... So that little clatter that you're hearing, there is a little bit of backlash in here. And since it's not rigidly coupled to the webs of this handle, it's literally just slipping over the top of it. You can hear that. 
when you change direction. But makes a little bit of noise, but it certainly works okay, especially for my application. Even with all of the CNC mods that I've done in the past, admittedly, this one was a lot more difficult than I was anticipating. It took quite a while to get this machine running adequately, and I did not have a lot of metal lying around because I never planned on buying a lathe this week. So I really only have one shot at this. I wanted to make a little miniature baseball bat. I kind of like miniature things like that, and I thought it would be pretty cool. I really enjoyed watching this machine work, just having to watch it. Didn't even have to monitor it. And overall, I'm really happy with the cut quality. I did clean this up a little bit with a little bit of 400 grit, but I don't think I have any right to complain about this, especially for my first try. This was a really fun project, and I'm really happy you guys got to go along for the ride. Sadly, this is all the footage I have, but I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be seeing this lathe again pretty soon. For my next video, I'm really excited. I finally got a plasma cutter, and you guys get to see what I think of it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks always for doing your part to help make this world a strange place.